I'm almost positive that at some point you guys have wondered how to do this. Often when you join multiplayer games hosted by other sources, you'll often see these cool maps and you'll see these cool icons, thumbnails that they have. Instead of rather seeing something like this 100 parkour level, this picture of a white concrete wall or a picture of grass for TU41TW. And I'm going to show you guys in today's tutorial how to transfer that, how to fix it so that you get your own custom icon or thumbnail for the world. Right now for my world called Frontier Hopeful, if we click into it, uh, this is the one that I was just currently in with this really cool, I built this a while ago there, I have a video for you guys if you ever want to see it. But right now I have this amazing world and my th icon doesn't do it justice. If we go in right here, you can see it's literally just the Badlands biome with some logs and some, it, it looks all right. It doesn't look that great though, to be honest. And it doesn't do it justice to this amazing world right here that we have created. So if you guys are brand new, this is UMX or 238, welcome. I'm really glad you guys are here. Thank you for checking this out. If you do like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But in today's tutorial, I'm simply gonna teach you how to make a world icon, a world PNG image so that you can have a cool intro when you're in your loading screen, when you're in the main menu of Minecraft. So with that said though, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. So starting off, the way that we're actually gonna go ahead and do this is we're gonna go ahead and click into the single player because this is where all your worlds for the most part are kept. What you'll notice is that you have the worlds that do have special thumbnails like these ones right here and obviously this one that we're changing today into the tutorial. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna select the world we want. So you can see I've got this gray border going around my world right now. I'm gonna go ahead and press edit after that and it will take you to the screen. You can edit the name, you can reset the icon, which is what we're gonna do. And there's a bunch of other options, but all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna press reset icon. You'll notice that this option becomes gray, the background, and we'll press save. If we go back, this is the default 64 by 64 icon that a Minecraft world has, and we want to change that. And one of the best ways to do that is by clicking on this, then going back into the edit tab. So again, the reset icon will still be there. And the easiest way to get into one of the Minecraft folders is just to press this right here. It will say open world folder, and this will take you to an external folder on your desktop. Now in here, there is one thing that is missing. Just ignore all the advancements, data, data packs, whatever. I'll go to another one of my worlds right now, and you'll see right here, the one thing that is actually missing is an icon.png. So we have to create an icon.png, which is really up to you guys at this point on how you want to do it. But basically the most important part about creating these icons is that they have to be 64 by 64 pixels big. If they're not, they're not gonna work. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do in order to create my custom 64 by 64 pixel is uh, my, my, my icon is I'm gonna get a screenshot, which you don't need to do. You can make this totally custom by applying, making your own 64 by 64 pixel art. That's what a lot of people do and you can 100% do that if you would like. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and get a cool screenshot, just kind of in a box, because keep in mind 64 by 64 pixels is a perfect box and I'm gonna have this centered straight in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot, which I did right there. And now that we got the bulk of this, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to an art software called Krita. You guys can use just about anything as long as Photoshop, Adobe programs, anything like that. It just has to be an art program where you can fit an image into a 64 by 64 space uh, pixel. And so now it's actually time to convert my image that I have into a 64 by 64 space. If you guys do use Krita, I can show you exactly how to do it. Krita is an online free art program, a lot like Photoshop but without a lot of the bells and whistles. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press file and I'm gonna press new. And right here you can see, I already have the format set up, pixels, pixels, the width and the height of this canvas I'm about to work with is gonna be 64 by 64 pixels. And if we create that right there, this is a very, very small space. It's 64 by 64 pixels wide. And that's how big you want it to be. Again, I can't stress how important this is. If the image is not 64 by 64 pixels, then this won't work. You need, you can't use any HD 1200 by 1200 pixel art programs, whatever, just because Minecraft doesn't like that. Minecraft wants you to do exactly 64 by 64. After all, it is a stack, right? So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna press file and open, and I'm gonna go ahead, and this is the image of that I took, the screenshot that I took just a second ago, and I'm actually gonna right click on this layer and copy it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste it onto the 64 by 64 space. And what you'll notice is that this thing is absolutely ginormous compared to that little square we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna shrink it down a lot. And this will make it very pixelated, but that's kind of gonna happen because it's a 64 by 64 space. This image right here is 1920 by 1080. So it's gonna become very pixelated, but I'll fit it right about here into the space that I want. And I'm gonna press enter and you'll see that it becomes a little bit blurry but it does encompass my entire build the way I want it to. So after formatting it just a little bit, I kind of like this. It's positioned in a pretty good spot. I might shrink it down just a little bit. I do want to add just a tiny bit of custom detail. Once you have your 64 by 64 canvas, it's actually really, really simple and really easy to go ahead and add some other minor details that you might want. Like for example, 
I kind of want to put a little bit of a black kind of just like border around it. So if I put that right there, you can see that kind of turned up a little bit weird. So I might format it and make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, that was that was just being a little bit too annoying, the, the border and everything. So instead, what I'm actually going to do, uh, this works a little bit better if you have a program that's devoted to pixel art size things like such as uh, a sprite like that. Uh, if you guys, if I, if I remember, I'll put links to this, but what I'm going to do is this uh, map is called Frontier, and so I'm going to name a text Frontier real quick, and I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to change the color of it just a little bit too. This is just me kind of messing around and having something fancy that I want to put into this, and I'm going to go ahead and convert it into a Minecraft font that I have, a special Minecraft font right there, and now I'm going to shrink it down to fit into the 64 by 64 space, which I might have to go... Let's say th uh, three font and see how big that is. Uh, right there, you see, I might want it actually to be a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I might go ahead and shrink it just a tiny bit more right about there so that we can have it so that it actually looks like it says Frontier. It's a little bit squished together. That's okay. I'm fine with that. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make it like a dark orange. Okay, and you can see I've just formatted it just a tiny bit more to fit in. Basically, this is just the part where you get to go ahead and experiment with your thing, your thumbnail. You can make pixel art if you would like to. That is up to you, but I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, over the PNG that I have on my computer. So if I go to desktop, I want to save this. Make sure to save this as a PNG image file. If it's not a PNG, it's not going to work. It has to be a PNG. And once we have that, once again, I'll, I'll close out of this art software real quick. You'll see right there, this is my 64 by 64 image it will pull up really small because it is a very small amount of pixels and basically at this point what you want to do you have your finished image you have the image that you want to stick in your minecraft world so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to right click on this image and i'm going to rename it to icon because that is how minecraft the code sees the image file if it doesn't see this icon dot png it's not going to work properly so once we have our image fully finished though we can go ahead and stick this in our world save file and if by any chance you accidentally did close out of it again the way we can do that is by clicking on our world then pressing edit and then we'll press open world folder right there and this will take us right up to the folder right to our icon page as well so you can see this is my image that i've finished and now that i've got it done i've renamed it to icon.png and if i go in the properties right if i check on it it should say that it is 64 by 64 big 64 pixels i can just literally go ahead pick up this image drag it in and it should be pretty much darn set if i go into minecraft now it should work 100 percent properly so i'll go ahead and i'll press the save button and there you guys go you can see we've reset the image to what we wanted it to be. We got the cool frontier text and we've got the image of our actual build doing a justice to the build itself. And now that we've got that pretty much done, if you look at all my other worlds, you can see I've started doing this for other worlds. Right here, I've got my screen screen world. I got my hearthcraft season one. I've got a bunch of worlds with custom thumbnails. And if I click into this, this doesn't change the world at all itself. This is still gonna be the exact same world, but I've got a custom thumbnail, a custom icon for my YouTube video. Now I will say some of these things are a bit more on the complex side of things. If you guys have never really dealt in Minecraft before, and I know this is a tutorial, so if you guys have any questions at all, I actually do have a Discord with a help tab in which I will help you guys personally if you guys come. You guys can also comment down below if you would like to, but that is basically how you do it. You set up your own uh, YouTube thumbnail icon, whatever, for your Minecraft world. It's really cool. Cool way just to make everything look a tiny bit more professional. When you go back out and you look at these and you see this, it, it looks more professional than that or that. It looks, you don't have the default Minecraft black and white trees. You have your own custom icon for your world. I really hope this tutorial did help you guys out. And if it did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out. It really does support me. But with that said, that is it. Super short tutorial, super easy, super to the point, and uh, yeah, I hope this I hope this worked out for you guys. Once again, you can use any art form you want. Just make sure ultimate things has to be a PNG file at the very end, has to be renamed to icon, and it has to be 64 by 64 pixels big. Other words, it won't work. So with that said, that is it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy life, enjoy Minecraft, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.